Hi there everyone. Uh, welcome to Maths Rush. Today I'll be doing this PSLE question 2014, paper 2, question 13. So before that I would like to apologize if um, the video is shaky because I'm using one hand to record and using another hand to write down the answer. Um, for those who want to try this question, please take uh, some time off by pausing this video um, to attempt the question. Uh, after that, I would be because uh, I will be doing the question soon, so you may pause now. Okay, so you should have read the question. So over here, I will apply three concepts to show you different methods to solve one PSLE question. Right, this is a three mark question, and there is no um, absolute way of doing it. Um, in PSLE, most uh, of course, the most important thing is to save time. And you don't want to waste too much time on a simple question because you might want to save more time for difficult questions. So here we go. This question, I would like to apply this concept that I like the best because um, it saves a lot of time. You'll see why. Okay. This fraction, uh, concept I would like to call Okay. This fraction I like to call is equal fractions concept. And why do I like equal fraction concept? Is that uh, it saves a lot of time. Okay. So what do I need to apply this concept? There's two things. First, I need to have fractions of two different items or person or whatsoever okay and the second thing is the most important is the keyword equal okay or the word same okay so how do I do this question because I know that one third of the long rulers are left and one sixth of the short ones were left so I can say that two third of the long ones are sold and of course, 5 sixths of the short ones are sold. And what do I do? I just say that it's equal. Because that's what the question asks. So for this concept, we are not going to make denominator the same. Why? Because the question didn't say that the total number of long is the same as the total number of short. But what is it saying is that the total number sold is the same. So we are going to make numerator the same. So over here, the common multiple is 10. So for my left side, I times 5 out of 5, okay? And on my left, I times 2 out of 2, 10 out of 12. So from here, I know that my long ruler, I have 15 units, and my short rulers, I have 12 units. In short, I can say that 27 units is equals to 5 for 0. 1 unit is equals to 20. How many rulers were left? So you have 5 units. Um, left because it is sold, 10 units were sold. So 5 units are left and 2 units are left. Answer is 7 units. My answer is 140. There we go. And you can see how much time I save with explanation. Okay, imagine I don't have to explain, I can solve this question in less than 1 minute. And this is a 3 marks question. How fast did I solve it? I do not know, but I really like this equal fraction concept and I just need these two things in the question to solve it. Alright, the next one is slightly more um, tedious, which most school would do. Okay. The second concept we're going to apply is called modeling, which everyone likes, right? Well, not really, because you know the um, disadvantage of using model. At times, you can draw, but how? Okay, so at first, when we look at this question, our question is to ask that, is it the total number of long rulers are more than the total, uh, total number of short ones? I'm not sure. So how do I do this question? Okay. So this is the long uh, model and this is the short model. So first, I'm going to say that I need to draw three units for my long one. Okay, I need to cut into three. Okay, next, um, I sold two thirds of it. Okay. And then for my short one, here's a tricky part. I need to draw 5 units of the short one. Here, and this is one crazy part. 
Okay, to make things easier for me to see in writer, I'm going to use this red color ink to indicate that this belongs to short. I don't want to confuse between long and short. So over here, I need to cut into five because five units of the short run was sold. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and I have five units a sold. And I need to add one more of these short units. And then now I know that, actually, that this long one has more than the short one. Okay, at times um, kids might not be able to explain this clearly. But what we can say is that these two blue units on top is equal to five uh, red units below. So what I must I do here now is to cut them equally. So over here, there's two units and these five units, the common multiple is 10. So I need to cut this into, uh, all the blue box I need to cut into five equally. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And same gives to this uh, unshaded one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And for the red one, I also need to cut into um, two H because five red units I need to cut into ten. So I need to divide one, two, and you realize that it becomes hard to do because, um, you know, it becomes so crowded here. Right, so over here I can say that total is five four zero. So if I count the model, uh, the boxes, it will be at times, um, you know, yeah, you get, you get it. Uh, it's a bit um, messy. So what we can say here is that twenty seven units. After you count them, you should get five four zero. Finally, one unit is twenty. We use a calculator, and how many units are left? You should count um, seven units which is equal to 140. So the tricky part for this modeling is to be able to draw this model which takes so much time. Right? And then you need to come back and then try to cut them equally into 10 units and then do the same for the long blue color units and do the same for the red color units. Right? So this one I take rather long to explain. So what's the last um, concept that I wish to share? Okay? Is this concept called simultaneous simultaneous concept okay simultaneous concept is a very important concept okay however um it is more detailed in secondary school so it's much more difficult for primary school kids to apply because they only learn algebra in p6 and only very little so there are a few things to pay attention because children have learned how to factorize and expand equation so this is one shortcoming for if you're gonna teach p6 you need to be careful on how to teach them properly how to use the algebra method for simultaneous concept so from here we need to be able to come out few equation to solve so for simultaneous you usually need to come up with two equation and then you can solve them so how do we do this question is that the long there are three units based on the fraction okay and for the short, there are 6 units for the total. So over here, I'm going to do 3 long plus 6 short is equals to 5, 4, 0. This is my first equation. My second equation is selling equal numbers of both types, which means that 2 long is equals to 5 short, which we have explained it earlier. So now, what we're going to do is we need to sub in the value or eliminate. Okay, so simultaneous makes use of that, either substitute or eliminate. Eliminate, so... How do we do this question is that um, what should we make the same? I think we should make long the same. Okay, so be careful because um, children haven't learned how to um, expand or factorize. So I would do this uh, to show it much better. I times this whole equation by 2. Okay, so it will be 6L plus 12S is equals to 1080. Okay, um, please take note that. Um, this is secondary level. Okay. P6 have learned how to expand this. They do not know that. This in, uh, in front of this bracket, there's a times. And of course, this 2 times this 3L and times 6S at the same time. Okay. So, um, if you are teaching P6, you need to be careful of this simultaneous concept. I prefer to um, illustrate my working as such. So, everything times 2. And over here, everything I need to times... Over here would be 6L is equals to 15S. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to substitute. Do you see 6L is equals to 15S? So I'm going to substitute this into 15S. And then I'm going to copy the rest of the equation down. Okay. 
1080. So 24 elephant small is equal to 1080. Okay? And then if I divide them, okay, I should get one small, I should get 1080 divided by 27. Oh no. Uh, I don't have a calculator near me. So uh, let me do my mental calculation. Um, it's times 4. Yes, 40. Okay, 1080 divided by 27 is 40. Okay, so 1 small is 40. So I need to find L because I need to find the number of uh, rulers left. Okay, or I can find uh, how much shot um, was sold. 5 shot was sold. So 5S is equal to 40 times 5 is 200. Okay, because they are equal numbers of short and long sold, so 200 times 2, 400. So this is the amount um, sold for long and short total. Lastly, 540 minus 400 gives me 140. Of course, you can find um, 1L and find 1S and then you find 1L plus 1S, you would also should still get the same answer, 140. So over here, I shared with you three concepts which took me about 12 minutes. Alright, and of course you can understand that simultaneous concept takes quite a long time to explain. Okay, I wouldn't say that this is a long-winded concept. Yes, it is, but um, it's very important. This concept is extremely important for much more advanced question that is not worth 3 marks. So probably 4 marks and 5 marks, um, simultaneous concept would be appropriate for that kind of question. Okay, and of course, previously we done modeling and of course if you like the diagram okay but remember that children have had uh will have a hard time to draw the model precisely and also cut them nicely and be neat and so on so this is one big uh, um obstacle for them to solve the question so i wouldn't recommend them model as and you can see that even they need to cut until 27 units which is quite ridiculous right my personal favorite and all-time favorite easy to apply is this equal fraction concept okay so if you find this inside the question fraction of two different items or name of, of or people okay on the keyword equal and same appears, we can use this concept. Just write down the statement. What fraction of long is equals to what fraction of short? Then we make numerator the same. Denominator refers to each person or each item's total units and solve it. Alright, I don't have to cut any model. And this one, if the fraction is much more um, crazy, right? We can just apply this, make the numerator the same. It will be extremely easy. And this is a three mark question. And for PSLE from 2013 to 2015 paper, equal fraction concept appeared every year. All right. So it's a very important concept to learn and to save a lot of time. All right. So I hope you like uh, Matt's Rush. Um, so please like it if you really like it. I really like it for equal, fraction, equal fraction concept. Okay, please share it. Okay, and please like my page as well, uh, Mets Rush PSLE, and join the group uh, www.facebook.com uh, slash groups slash Mets Rush, and I'll be the one um, helping you with all these concepts. Um, not really, uh, I will introduce you concepts uh, to help you with problem solving. Alright, so also stay tuned for December holidays because I will be doing some workshops on this um, concepts to make you to make problem solving easy for you and your kids to do all right so I will see you all soon hopefully I do another video on this kind of question or another type of question that I can introduce a lot of concept with one question right so what's your favorite concept do you like equal fraction concept or do you like modeling okay or do you like simultaneous concept all right please leave down in the comments below all right um, see you all soon and peace out.